Have you ever been debugging your code and you had to use print function to print the value of a variable to see what's going on? And then did you get confused by all the print statements, not knowing which one is showing which value? Ice cream library allows you to never use print function while debugging. Simply just import IC and use IC function instead of print function. All you have to do is to install the ice cream library using pip. So let's open a new terminal and use pip install ice cream. Okay, installation successful. <clears throat> and IC function beside printing the value of the variable, it also prints the name of the variable, which is very useful while debugging. So, first let's import from ice cream import ic function. Then let's define a variable and another one and let's add them together. Result equals a plus b and print the result using ice cream. Result. Now let's run the code. And notice that IC prints the name of the variable as well, as I said before. Result and value. Name and value. Uh, and now let's modify the previous example to print all the variables at once. A, B, result. Now let's run the code. As you can see, A, value 1, B, value 2, and result, value 3. <clears throat> now let's print the result of the expression. We can use A plus B, and also we can delete this and run the code. As you can see, IC prints the expression and the value of this expression. And additionally, IC function can be used with iterables, such as dictionaries, lists, tuples, etc. So, let's define a list nums equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And let's print this list using ice cream nums. Let's save this and run the code. Notice that IC prints the contents of the list and the name as well. Also, you can call IC function without parameters. For example, let's define a function and call IC function inside it. And now let's call the, fun the function. <clears throat> now let's save this and run the code. As you can see, IC prints the place where it was called and the time it was called, which is pretty useful. You may wonder how does IC function know the name of the variable? It's some kind of magic. Well, it uses the executing package which lets you get information about what a frame is currently doing, particularly the AST node being executed. Let's see how it works. First, let's import executing and import inspect. Inspect. Then let's define a function test arcs <clears throat> uh, and this function can take any number of arguments. So frame, get the frame of the caller, which is test in this case, inspect, inspect, current frame, f back. And next, 
get the source code of the caller. Text executing source executing frame text and print the source code of the caller. Print text. Now let's define a variable and call the function. Now let's run the code. And this is what should be. We extracted data about the caller from the Python code. So, thank you for watching. This was Ice Cream Library and goodbye.